The D10 TV also allows you to wirelessly, without having to plug in, share your iPad screen, your iPhone, your MacBook, so you can wirelessly share using an AirPlay or using the built-in um, Zoom share screen feature. So this video is going to just take a few minutes to show you how to share that screen. Remember, I have a bunch of videos that are going to show you all the little different features, and I have one kind of monster, almost half hour long video that takes you through everything. But sometimes it's easier, you just want to see one feature, and instead of searching through that long video, you can pull up one of these videos just to see how to use that one feature. So there's two ways you can share your screen. The first is you can just share it with people in the room. So if you're just teaching a lesson in your classroom or you're having a meeting, you can just share your screen directly, but you can also do it while in a Zoom call. And they both ways work exactly the same, which is really nice. So you only have to learn one way to do it. So let's say you just want to share your screen with people in your room. So you'll see a share content button right here and you tap on that. Now it's going to pop up with these two options. You're going to see desktop and you're going to see iPhone, iPad, and it's just touch the tab to switch back and forth between the two. The first one I'm going to show is the iPhone, iPad option, but you can also use that using AirPlay on your actual laptop. So like you would AirPlay to a Apple TV or something like that. You can do it the same way. I've kind of found if you're going to share your MacBook screen to connect through the desktop method, and I will show that in just a second. But the first one I'm going to show is the iPhone, iPad. So you tap on that, and it's going to give you all the steps that you need to do. So I've got my nice iPad here. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow these steps. So what you have to do is you have to go to screen mirroring on your tablet or your phone, and it'll tell you what to look for, and then it will give you the passcode. So what I'm going to do is on the top right, you start just off the screen and you swipe down and you'll see the screen mirroring option. And when I tap on that, you're going to look in the list for that Mr. Metzler. So I'm going to scroll through my list, and you'll see Mr. Metzler right there. I'm going to tap on that. What it's going to do is it's going to pop up in just a second asking for a passcode right there. And you'll see right here on the TV it gives that 7749 is the passcode and I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna hit OK. It'll take just a second. And now I'm gonna tap off of it and tap off of it again to get rid of it and you see my screen airplayed up here. And as I scroll, it's gonna scroll. and everybody in your room will see exactly what they're seeing on the screen. Now the really neat feature of doing this, because these TVs also allow you to plug in manually, you could connect an Apple TV to it, but when you do it this way, if I tap on the screen, you're gonna see the whiteboard feature show up. And I do have another video that shows the whiteboard features, but now you can draw right on your tablet screen. So this gives you some really neat capabilities. If you have a slideshow presentation on here, you can show that. And then you could actually write on it, or if you had some math problems, you could have the kids come up and fill those in, just whatever you need the kids to be able to write, or you yourself. So that is the first way you can share your screen. And then when you're done, you tap on the screen, and you can just tap the Stop Share. And that will boot you right out. So now I'm going to show how to connect to it using your desktop method. So you're going to click on Share Content, and you're going to leave it on Desktop. On your MacBook, you want to open up your Zoom app. And this bottom right icon says Share Screen. When you click on that Share Screen icon, what it's going to do, sometimes it will share instantly. If you have the Zoom Rooms feature, which is what my account is tied to, and this TV set up as a Zoom Room, it won't ask for the sharing key. But most people, you don't need to have the Zoom Room account, so what it will ask you to do is put in that sharing key. So you're going to click that share screen on your computer. If it asks for the share key, you're going to put that key in, and then instantly your screen is shared. And again, you get these whiteboard features that you can take advantage of, which is really nice and powerful. And anything I do on my computer will show right up on the screen. 
So these are the two methods to sharing your screen. So again, you can share your iOS device, which includes your iPhone or your iPad. You can share your MacBook using AirPlay. But you can also do the desktop share using Zoom client on your MacBook. So you want to make sure you download Zoom. And then you'll when you log in, you'll see that share screen icon. And you can share it that way. Now, if I was in a Zoom meeting, so I'm going to start a meeting on the board. There we go. Now, within the meeting, if I tap on these three dots along the bottom, if you don't see that menu, just tap the screen and it'll go away after a few. So you just tap the screen to hide or see it. I'm going to tap on the three dots, and you're going to see share content or camera. So if I tap on that, you're going to see the same display show up that you saw in that earlier method I was showing you. It works exactly the same. You could ignore the camera. If you had multiple cameras, it would allow you to switch between the cameras. But if you want to share your desktop using the desktop method by opening Zoom on your laptop, you do the share screen, and everybody in the Zoom call, no matter where they are, will see your screen. Or you can click on iPhone, iPad, swipe down from the top right, click on uh, screen mirroring, You'll select the name that it tells you, and then you'll put in your passcode. And everybody in the Zoom meeting will see it. Again, you can still use the whiteboard features. So when I'm sharing my screen, you'll be able to take advantage of all the whiteboard features and use all the features like you normally would. And if you're recording your screen, like in that other video I've shown where you can actually record the Zoom meeting, it will also record whatever you share to the screen. So I hope you'll find this video helpful. Um, it's a really powerful feature and allows you to pretty much get full smart board capability. The only thing you can't do with it is actually control your laptop by touching the screen. But as far as notating and drawing, you get all those features, which is really nice. I hope you found this video helpful. I'm doing a whole series on a bunch of the features with the D10 TV, so please, please check that out. Don't forget to hit that like button below, and also subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with my latest tutorials as I release new ones. And I hope you found this video helpful. And this is Adam on Tech, signing off.